Hi, hello everyone. It's me again, Mama Marielle, and welcome to my channel. So for this video, I will discuss ko sa inyo kung paano magsolve ng linear equations in one variable, okay? And kung gusto niyo matuto kung paano magsolve ng linear equations in one variable, please continue watching hanggang dulo. Okay? So, before we start, huwag niyo muna kalimutang mag-subscribe, i-like itong video, and of course, i-share niyo ito later sa inyong mga friends. Okay? And without further ado, let's start with the discussion itself. Okay? So, in solving linear equations in one variable, kailangan alam muna natin yung properties of equality. These are the properties of equality na kailangan natin enable for us to solve linear equations, okay? And dito sa limang properties of equality, meron lang tayong dalawa na medyo gamit na gamit, which is the addition property of equality and the multiplication property of equality, okay? So, before we start solving, i-discuss ko muna sa inyo kung ano-ano ba yung properties of equality na sinasabi. So, for number one, we have the addition property of equality. It says that if A is equal to B, then A plus C is equal to B plus C. Kung ano yung in ninyo dito sa other side of the equation, ganun din yung i-add ninyo to the other side of the equation. Okay? So, mamaya in solving, explain ko pa sa inyo ng more further. Alright? The next property is the multiplication property of equality wherein it says that if A is equal to B, then A times C is equal to B times C. Medyo kagaya din ng addition property which is kung ano yung i-multiply nyo to the other side of the equation, ganun din yung i-multiply nyo to the other side of the equation. So, ganun yung sinasabi ni addition property of equality and multiplication property of equality. From the word itself, addition and multiplication. Okay? So, for the next one, we have the reflexive property of equality. From the word itself, reflex. Reflect. Okay? Meaning to say, it says that any number or expression equal to itself. Any number or expression equal to itself. Take a look at that. We have 2 is equal to 2. X is equal to X. B is equal to B. So, that is the reflexive property of equality. The next one, we have the symmetric property of equality. And it says that the sides of equations can be interchanged. From the word itself, interchange, pwedeng pagbalik ta rin. Okay? Like for example, we have if AB is equal to CD, then CD is equal to AB. Nagkabaliktad lang sila, pinagbaliktad lang, di ba? So, ganun lang yung sinasabi ni symmetric property of equality. So, kapag may nakita kayo, limbawa, pina-identify sa inyo kung anong kinds of property of equality yon, ibig sabihin, ma uh, sasabi nyo na kung anong mga properties of equality sila. Ito. Yan. And the last is the transitive property of equality. When we say transitive property of equality, if two equations are equal to a third quantity, then they are all equal to each other. Meaning to say, meron tayong tatlong pinag-uusapan dito, the third quantity. For example, we have A is equal to B, and B, ayan, same, is equal to C. Meaning to say, A is equal to C. Tama? Kasi si A daw is equal to B, and si B ay equal kay C. Ibig sabihin, si C or si A is equal to each other. Alright? So, ganun lang kasimple yung sinasabi ni transitive property of equality. And, um, in some cases, ipapa-identify sa inyo kung ano ba yung properties of equality na ginamit sa isang equation or expression. Um, if that's so, alam nyo na kung ano-anong properties. We have addition, property of equality, multiplication, reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. So, yan. Moving on to the discussion about solving linear equations in one variable. When we say linear equations in one variable, bakit sinabing one variable? Kasi isa lang yung ating variable dito, which is x, okay? And the linear equations in one variable, it is um, expressed in a x plus b is equal to 0. And it has only one solution. Bakit isa lang yung solution niya? 
Kasi isa lang yung kahanapin natin ng variable, okay? Yung value ng variable indicated to that expression or equation. So, for example, we have x minus 5 is equal to 8. Si x yung hanapin natin, di ba? So, one solution only. And when we say solution, yung value na yun, siya lang yung makakapag-satisfy dito sa ating equation. And yun yung hanapin natin. And later on, ituturo ko din sa inyo kung paano ba mag-check if tama ba yung nakuha nating solution. Take a look at example number 1. We have x minus 5 is equal to 8. So, the goal is to find the solution or the value of x or yung variable na nasa ating equation. Okay? So, we are going to find the value of x. And how are we going to find that? Si x is may kasamang negative 5. And then, si 8 is nasa other side of equation. So, what property are we going to use in able for us to find x? So, we are going to use the addition property of equality kung saan, kung ano yung i-add mo dito, yun din yung i-add mo dito sa kabilang side. Okay? Pero, ano po yung i-add natin dyan, ma'am? Si negative 5, kailangan natin siyang i-eliminate. Tama? Or, ibig sabihin, tatanggalin natin siya. Ilipat dapat natin siya dito sa kabila. Okay? Using the addition property of equality. Okay? So, we have x minus 5 copy nyo lang. And dahil nga si 5 yung i-eliminate natin, plus lang tayo. Plus 5 is equal to 8 plus 5. Kasi kung ano yung ini-add nyo dito sa kabila, ganun din yung i-add nyo dito sa kabila. Okay? So, we have x minus 5 plus 5 is equal to 8 plus 5. And kapag nag-add kayo ng integers with its opposite, for example, positive 5, ang opposite niya ay negative 5. When you add them, the answer is always equal to 0. Basta, opposite sila, no? For example, negative 4 plus 4, 0. Negative 3 plus 3, 0. Okay, that's why we are going to cancel negative 5 and positive 5 because it is equal to 0. And, natira na lang ba si x? Yes, natira na lang si x. So, we're done with the first goal. Yung alisin dito si negative 5, tama? Okay, and then, dito naman, we have 8 plus 5. Just do the operation, we have 13. And then, x is equal to 13. Ganun lamang kasimple. Okay, and when you are going to check that, let's try to check it. Kunin nyo lang yung pinaka-equation. We have x minus 5 is equal to 8. And substitute the value of x na nakuha nyo. So, we have 13 as our x. Substitute, ito yung x natin. So, papaltan lang natin yun ng 13. Ayan. Minus 5 is equal to 8. 13 minus 5 is equal to 8. And 8 is equal to 8. Are they equal? Yes, they are. Meaning to say, tapa yung nakuha nating solution which is x is equal to 13. And what property is this? Anong tawag sa property na ito? It is called the reflexive property of equality. Kasi equal sila no. And, that's how are you going to check the solutions of linear equations in one variable. Okay? For the next example, we have 4x is equal to 12. Okay? So, this time, walang kasama si 4x or wala siyang kasama na constant. Yung constant natin is nandito, si other side of equation. So, what are we going to do is just to eliminate ano ba yung kailangan nating alisin kay x para matira na lang si x. Hindi yung x mo ah. Char. So, we have 4. Kailangan natin siyang eliminate In what ways? Or how? By using multiplication property of equality. Anong sinabi sa multiplication property of equality? Kung ano yung pinultiply mo sa kabila, ganun din sa kabila. Okay? And, hindi lang yon We have 4 that we are going to eliminate. So, kapag ganito yung situation, ang gagamitin natin is yung denominator. How? So, you're just going to copy 4x is equal to 12. And since si 4x ang alisin natin, multiply natin ng both sides by 1 over 4 or 1 fourth. Yung 4 na to, ilalagay lang natin siya as denominator. Okay? And the value of the numerator is always 1. Okay? Ganun din dito kay 12. So, we have 1 fourth. And then 1 4 times 4x is equal to 4 over 4x. 
when you are going to multiply a, a fraction and the whole number, just multiply the whole number and the numerator itself. Ito lang. 1 and 4 lang. Okay? And copy the denominator. So, the denominator is 4. And then, we have 12 times 1 is 12 divided by 4. Okay? And then, since 4 over 4 is, of course, equal to 1. Since 4 divided by 4 is 1, cancel na yan. 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. And that is our solution. X is equal to 3. And how are we going to check it? Let's do the checking. So, we have to copy the equation for x equal to 12 and then um, substitute the value of x to the equation. So, we have 4 and ito yung nakuha nating solution. 3 is equal to 12. 4 times 3 is 12 and 12 is equal to 12. Are they the same? Yes, they are. Meaning to say, nakuha natin yung tamang solution. Now, take a look at the another example. We have 4x plus 7 minus 2x is equal to 13. So, as you can see, meron tayong dalawang x and tinatawag pa rin natin siyang linear equation in one variable kasi pagkatulad naman yung variable which is x lamang, no? So, what are we going to do in this situation is to combine the like term first before we proceed um, to the properties of equality na gagamitin natin and able for us to find x. So, anong gagawin natin? Pagsasamahin natin yung mga like terms, okay? So, as you can see dito sa side na to, ang like terms are 4x and 2x. Tama? Kasi pareha silang may variable na x. So, pagsasamahin natin sila. So, we have 4x minus 2x is equal to 2x. Okay? And then, plus 7 equal to 13. So, ayan na yung ating pinaka-equation ngayon. So, what are we going to do next is, of course, to use the addition proper to equality, enable for us to eliminate 7 dito. Ililipat natin siya dito sa kabila. Gamitin natin sa addition proper to equality, okay? So, we have 2x plus 7. And remember, when you are going to use the addition proper to equality, you add that particular number to its opposite, di ba? So, we have positive 7, no? Ano ba ang opposite ni positive 7? Negative 7. Okay? They are opposite. Positive 7, negative 7. So, what are you going to do is to add the opposite. So, we have plus negative 7. So, we have equal to 13. And then, right after that, dahil sabi ko nga kanina, when you add the opposite integers, um, it will come up to 0. Like, for example, 7 plus negative 7 is 0. So, what are you going to do is to just cancel it out. Since magkaiba na sila ng sign, so natira na lang ay si 2x. Okay? And then, right after that, ba kung ano yung in natin dito sa kabila, ganun din sa kabila. So, mag a din tayo dito ng negative 7. Kasi negative 7 yung in natin sa kabila, ba So, ito, magiging positive times negative. So, we have 13. Positive times negative is negative 7. Tama? So, we have 2x is equal to 13 minus 7 is equal to 6. And then, what are we going to do next? We are going to use the multiplication property of equality. Kanina, addition property of equality. Ngayon naman, multiplication property of equality wherein, yung imumultiply natin both side is, gagawin natin denominator yung kasama ni x or yung um, value na kailangan nating i-eliminate para matira na lamang yung x natin. So, we have 1 over 2 and 1 over 2. And then, right after that, 2 times 1 half is 2 over 2. x is equal to 6 times 1 is 6 over 2. So, cancel. x is equal to 3. And that is the answer. And now, kailangan natin siyang i-check para malaman natin kung tama ba yung nakuha natin na solution. We have 4x plus 7 minus 2x is equal to 13. Okay? Ito ay checking, no? So, what are we going to do is to just substitute the value of x. So, we have 4x so it will become 3 plus 7 minus 2 times 3 is equal to 13. We have 12 plus 7 minus 2 times 3 is 6 equal to 13. And then 12 plus 7 is equal to 19. Minus 6 is equal to 13. And then 
Ayan, 13 is equal to 13. Meaning to say, tama yung nakuha nating solution which is x is equal to 3. Alright? So, for our last example, we have 2 third x minus 7 is equal to 5. So, ayan, paano naman kapag meron ng fraction? Siyempre, same process pa din. So, what are we going to do is to eliminate negative 7 by using the addition property of equality. Tama? So, we have 2 third x minus 7 plus the opposite of negative 7, ayan, is positive 7 equal to 5 plus 7. Alright? And then, of course, eliminate na si negative 7 plus 7. Since it is equal to 0, so we have 2 third x equal to 5 plus 7 is equal to 12. So, ganito, kapag fraction, um, di ba gagamitan na natin siya ng multiplication property of equality? So, kapag fraction yung situation sa equation ninyo, Ang gagawin nyo lang is kukuhain nyo yung reciprocal ng 2 over 3. And when you are getting the reciprocal of a fraction, interchange nyo lang yung numerator and denominator. So, it will become 3 over 2. Ayan. So, dito 2 over 3. Dito 3 over 2. So, pwede din natin gamitin yung 1 over 2 over 3 pero magre-reciprocal pa din tayo mamaya dito sa kabila. So, better um, do this way na reciprocal na natin siya kaagad. So, we have 3 over 2. Alright? And then, 3 over 2 times 2 over 3. X. Ayan. Pinag-multiply na natin. Is equal to 12 times 3 is 36 over 2. Diba? Numerator to numerator lamang tayo. And then, copy the denominator, which is 2. And then, since 3 times 2, yan, kapag magmumultiply kayo ng fraction, um, just multiply numerator to numerator and denominator to denominator. So, we have 3 times 2 is 6. 2 times 3 is 6. Ayan. Equal to 36 divided by 2 is 18. Ayan. So, of course, cancel na si 6. And then, x is equal to 18. And then, that's it. Yan na yung ating solution sa equation number 4. And now, let's try to check. So, copy lamang natin yung pinaka-equation. We have 2 third x minus 7 is equal to 5. Yan. And then, syempre, just substitute the value of x. So, we have 2 third times 18 minus 7 is equal to 5. And then, right after that, multiply 18 to 2. Since, uh, pag magmumultiply kayo ng whole number to fraction numerator and the whole number lang yung imumultiply nyo and then copy the denominator. So, 18 times 2 is 36 over 3. Ito yung denominator. Minus 7 is equal to 5. And then, 36 divided by 3 is 12. Minus 7 is equal to 5. 12 minus 7 is 5. Yan. 5 is equal to 5. So, meaning to say, tama yung nakuha nating sagot, which is x is equal to 18. So, ganun lamang kasimple. And that would be all for this video. I hope you have learned something from me. And of course, wag mo kalimutang mag-subscribe, i-like itong video, and share ito sa iyong mga friends. So yun, thank you, thank you so much everyone, and God bless us all. Music